what is going on guys it is dirty here and i am finally bringing you guys an updated setup video it has been so long the last one that i did was in the phase austin texas house whatever and it was kind of short because it was right at the beginning i wasn't sure how long i was gonna be there but um i am back in seattle and i am happy to be here and i was like you know what i'm just gonna stay here for a little while pimp out my setup as much as i can get my ideal stream pc'd everything just situated be here for bo4 and just grind so check it out voila this is my stream setup right here i am really happy with it it's kind of it doesn't look the prettiest but i'm really happy with it it's just good like i'm just happy to have everything that i kind of want you know i got a nice little view of the backyard i got the games all right so let's get into it so what i got going here is a dual PC stream setup. So if you see under here, I have two PCs. I have a gaming PC and I have a streaming PC. This is primarily for PC gaming. You don't need to do a dual PC setup ever if you're doing console because there's really there's not really a point to doing it because console streaming is 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 it takes a little bit of power, but not much. To be able to play at the best frames and stream at the same time, the stream PC is for sure recommended. So what I have going here is I have a gaming PC here and a stream PC here. So everything I do is on the gaming PC, which is this monitor and this monitor. I got the Venom, I got Shroud. Oh, well, he's not even there. Looks like he just took an L. Rip Shroud that, you know, rarely ever happens. He only gets first place because he's the best in the game. He's actually insane. He's actually insane at Blackout. And I'm so happy that Call of Duty Battle Royale is just popping and Shroud's killing it. Anyways, I kind of like veering off there. And then I got the Discord with the boys who got cruiser posting some weird selfies here about getting that bread uh we're not gonna get into it so these are the two gaming pcs this is the streaming pc um i pretty much use it as just like a watch twitch whatever if i'm not streaming um but i game on the gaming pc so there's no stress no nothing no stream worries on the game pc i have an elgato game capture in the streaming pc that captures everything from the gaming pc and just puts it on the streaming pc and then the gaming the streaming pc just just streams it and so the gaming pc is acting like it's not streaming i've surprisingly been so addicted to multiplayer call of duty multiplayer and blackout videos will come eventually i know i've been super focused on multiplayer but I've been addicted. I did not think I was going to be this addicted. Yeah, what up? What up? Did you just call me dirty? I said dirty. Why? Face dirty? That ain't me. What's up, dirty? All right, so let's get into everything here. If you guys want to see anything, I'm going to try and put every single thing here in the description below and if you purchase them through those amazon links i believe i might be able to get a little incentive i'm not sure yet because i think i can do that through twitch anyways but this is the setup i'm going to show you everything this is my gaming pc mouse gaming pc keyboard i've recently switched to the no number pad here just to give yourself a lot more space and it's amazing because i have such a big mouse pad and i when I actually play, I end up using all the space. It's so much better to be an arm gamer rather than a wrist gamer. You just be able to be so much more accurate. And if you don't do that, I recommend it. Um, and then this is for my streaming PC. I just got a wireless mouse so I can push it out of the way because once I start streaming, I don't really touch with it. I got, I've tried to find the smallest keyboard possible. And so this is for the streaming PC as well, just kind of tucked away. I don't use that very much. This is a mouse bungee to, you know, keep the mouse up in the air. Elgato Stream Deck for when I'm streaming. It's so good for like switching scenes, adding fancy stuff. If you're a streamer and like switching scenes, I would recommend getting one of those. This is my iPhone wireless charger that I just have set there. It's really nice because then it just props up and I can see all the notifications while I'm gaming and stuff. Um, this is, I'm going through this as fast as I can because there's so much. I'm sorry if, uh, if you get lost, but I'm sure you guys watch setup videos to kind of know about everything in my setup, right? So this is my microphone. It is an Audio-Technica AT2035. It is an XLR mic. So I actually have a mixer down here. Well, this isn't a mixer. This is the mix amp. And then it is actually a virtual mixer. So I don't actually have to have like a one of those huge like knob things. It's a virtual, I lied. It's that one. This is a whole nother story. This has to deal with my 
streaming PC audio and the dual PC audio is the worst part about dual PCs, but once you get it going, it's flawless. This right here, this is a pedal and this is actually a hotkey and I have it bound to mute Discord. So every time I press this, muting and unmuting. And uh, one of the coolest purchases I've got recently, I got it because of Nick F30 tweeted it out. And I thought this would be perfect for console because if you're playing on a console, you never wanna take your hands off the controller. Say you get a donation and you're in a chat and you wanna like scream or react or something and don't wanna interrupt someone else's stream. You just hit that and then you know, you go crazy. Um, really cool, it's like $15 on Amazon. Huge shout out to Nick F30, really cool purchase. I didn't even know it was possible. You could even like, if you play Fortnite or something, you could bind that to like a building key or just like something insane. But let's continue. This is my favorite headset I have ever owned. It is the lightest headset I have ever owned. As you can tell, I wear glasses and I have a fat head. Like I have a really big head. Like I'm barely pushing like the last snaps and snapbacks. Um, but this headset, when I wear glasses, I, I don't, it doesn't like push on the side. And some of you guys might know that's an issue and that it really sucks, but the Sennheiser 598s. This is a 240 hertz monitor. This is a 144 hertz monitor, but I, this is what I used to game on. I don't anymore. Um, this is what I now game on. And then this is just like an old monitor that I used to have. I don't really care to have 144 hertz because it's the streaming PC and I won't ever be gaming on it. Um, what else do we have here? We have an Astro Mix Amp. This is so I can hear PS4 volume and PC volume at the same time. That way I don't have to listen to the volume through the Elgato software itself because there's a slight, slight, slight delay with it. With the uh, with the optical cable, there is no delay and it's, you know, great sound quality and I can switch between if I want to just listen to game or listen to my computer. Really nice having that mix amp. Down here I have my PlayStation. Down here I have my Xbox One. Sorry, Xbox, I just don't play you. That's gonna really do it for the setup. I have these monitors mounted as well on a mount. I love having monitors mounted. I, I'm a little bit sad with this monitor mount because I can't directly put that monitor on top of this one. Um, I could put it to the side here, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put it above and have it like a little off. If you have OCD, I'm sorry, you're probably freaking out, but you know, it doesn't bother me very much. They're not perfectly aligned, but you know, it works and I'm happy, I'm really happy with the setup. This desk is also from Ikea. It's the Malm, M-A-L-M desk. It's the same desk I had in Texas and I just really, really liked it. My old desk was just too big and just, I don't really like L desks too much anymore. This is kind of like an L desk, mini L desk. And this is actually part of my old desk. Um, I ended up sawing it off, sanded these guys down, you know, not the best job. Um, and then I was able to slide it under here so I could, you know, still kind of have my junk drawer. Oh, and then this is my Scuff controller. If you guys want to see the review for the Scuff Vantage, it's their brand new controller. I also uploaded a video on that. Beautiful controller, custom controller. It has paddles on the back. It has domed thumbsticks. It's just, the grip on it is amazing. And I love Scuff. They're one of my sponsors along with G Fuel and SteelSeries. Anyways, that's kind of just like my setup. That is, that's my setup. Oh, and then uh, Gunner glasses. I wear these, um, if I'm wearing my contacts, I'm gonna be gaming for a long, long time. If I'm gaming for a long time, I recommend looking into them. They're not too expensive, they're not too cheap, um, but if your eyes get tired, if your eyes get dry, check them out. I've been wearing them for years and they're super cool. But anyways, let's, let's look around at my setup. Um, if you guys wanna know my specs on my PC, I'm gonna have them soon. I am upgrading very soon, the 9900K. Um, I'm waiting for that. I pre-ordered it. I got new RAM and I got a new motherboard that I'm waiting for. It's actually a Black Ops 4 motherboard that's actually really cool. It was the same motherboard I was going to get, but it came with a copy of Black Ops 4 for the PC. So, clutch shoe game. Not the craziest. You know, first pair of Yeezys. I just recently got these. Probably going to be my only pair of Yeezys. Uh, Ultra Boost 4.0 Chinese New Year's. I really like these. And uh, these shoes I've actually never seen anyone else ever have before. They're kind of dirty. I need to wash them. They're the Nike Air Force Ones Flyknit series and I love them. I love, love, love them. Probably my favorite shoe ever. Human races in here. I have the Peace Ones. The Chinese exclusives are so cool. I love those. I want more human races. They're so cool. And then the other one says Peace. Odd flex, but okay. Here is the background of my setup. Kind of like, I used to have this always in the background of my 
my streams and content and whatever but you don't really see it anymore you just see more of the door because the way that the webcam is angled but i got my little scuff shrine here i got my little g fuel shrine here and i got a hats on hats and i got a stranger things 11 with ego shout out to meow michelle she sent me that um little fortnite pickaxe and then this is from last year's twitchcon which i'm leaving to twitchcon tomorrow and that's why i'm recording this video so i can have content for you guys stacked up and i got a little scent thing that blows a, a scent every 30 minutes so it doesn't get too stinky in here i have my 100k plaque Hopefully one day we can hit a million. Aye. That's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the setup video. It's kind of like a cluster. Oh, I didn't show you guys. I have an Alexa. Alexa, tell me a joke. What's an English teacher's favorite cereal? The Grape Nuts of Wrath. Alexa, tell me another joke. That one sucked. Why did the mom shush her kids at the tennis match? Because they were making a racket. <laughs> all right i hope you guys have enjoyed the video leave a like if you guys have any questions for me on anything in my setup definitely let me know um i'll try and get back to you thank you guys for watching this is dirty i'm out